Hey, what's up, guys? I hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike, and it's time for us again to another music reaction. So next up on this Metal Monday journey, uh, one of my favorite metal bands, The Devil Wears Prada. This is off the new Z2 EP. Um, it's a song called Nora. This is a request from my friend Angela. Um, and, you know, I uh, I I was kind of curious how many uh, songs in am I on this? So I, I looked before the recording started. There's five songs. And I'm so glad that my reactions of the of the Z2 songs have actually been in order. I wasn't even trying to do that. I'm happy it turned out this way. Um, so this is the fourth song on the EP. And then I have one more called Contagion that I haven't heard. Um, so far, if you haven't seen my other reactions to the songs from this uh, EP, I absolutely love their sound on this so far. Amazing. It's so different, so up to date, so mature. Um, I'm liking uh, how every song has a different sound. You know, the first Zombie EP, all the songs sounded pretty similar. I, and that's not an insult. That's not a, a put down. I love the sound of the Zombie EP. But this one, every song is like a slightly different genre of metal. And um, I love it. So I'm eager to see what this one sounds like too, and Contagion. Um, I looked at the lyrics. Uh, it's about someone named Nora, you know, being on the run. Uh, in the zombie apocalypse, just fighting to survive, going town to town. Kind of makes me think of, like, Michonne from The Walking Dead, or uh, makes me think of the Last of Us series of uh, video games. So, um, not too much I need to interpret on this one. Um, without further ado, I'm excited, I'm ready for this song to uh, uh, wow me. So, without further ado, The Devil Wears Prada, Nora. Feels like I have time for a sip. Oh my god! Every song, a different genre of metal, man. on this one. So haunting. Wow. That guitar tone. Um, yeah, in fact, let me just stop and take stock of what I'm hearing so far. Um, this is amazing, man. I, I love it. This one has a different sound, too. Um, well, which one was it? I think it was Forlorn. I mentioned that uh, that riff that they played at the beginning uh, sounded very meshuggah -y as far as that gentiness. This one has that same like guitar tone of meshuggah, too, but it's a different, slightly different style of metal here. You know, this is a, a little bit of thrash. Um, wow. <laughs> I'm just so amazed by this EP, man. Oh, I wish they put out a full length. That would have been amazing. They should have just did Z2, the full length album. Um, I love it, man. I'm sorry for stopping. I uh, I initially just stopped to mention how the, the guitar tone and the style of uh, strumming there sounds very Mashuga. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd stop and comment on the rest of what I'm hearing. I love it, man. <laughs> Yeah! 
CP so much. for another three minutes holy crap man i'm so hyped right now the devil wears prada nora oh my god man i i keep saying the same things over and over i'm sorry but i love this ep i love how every song has just been a different slightly different style of metal man oh god it's just so impressive i don't i can't think of any too many other metal bands who've done that you know what I mean? Usually the album is, that's the style. Even they used to do that. The album is the style of metal you're playing. God. This is so, so amazing, man. I just, I feel like this is so revolutionary. I feel like from what I've seen on YouTube, as far as the view count, they are not getting what they deserve. What the, you know, the recognition they deserve. I think a lot of people forgot about these guys, you know? There's a lot of people sleeping on them. Maybe they were fans before, but they just, you know, lost touch. I'll be honest. I started to lose touch um, on the last album, but um, they got my attention again, man. Um, I Yeah, all these old DWP fans need to open up their eyes, man, and check out this, this new EP. Uh, people who haven't heard about these guys or only think of, you know, heard a couple songs in the past doing, eh, not my thing, you know? They need to give this another chance. They, this is so amazing. It's so freaking good, man. Um, I can't, I can't say enough good things about all the songs off this EP. Um, yeah, this song was amazing. This was a banger. Another side of metal that uh, from the other three songs I heard, and um, I just love it, man. Jeremy's cleans on this whole EP have been just haunting. I like his style of cleans now. You know, yeah, I, I, I still like the old stuff with that emo, post-hardcore style, which singing super high-pitched, but this is just perfect. You know, it sounds haunting when he's uh, singing in his regular speaking octave. You know what I mean? Um, excellent. I love it. Um, if anyone out there has not heard Devil Wears Prada before, uh, you better have liked this, man, if you're a metal fan. If you're not a metal fan, I get it. In fact, I'd be surprised if you made it this far. Um, but yeah, if you haven't heard him, go check him out. And if you made it this far into the video, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for rocking out with me. Um, I think this is going to be the last one for Metal Monday. Uh, I hope we can bring it back. The reason why I did all this, by the way, was uh, with the requests that were coming in on my channel, uh, going off of demand and order, it was just uh, not much metal was being requested. And I, I felt like I had to make up for that and throw in a lot more metal songs on one day, you know? So at the end of the day, I, I still love heavy metal uh, and they deserve, uh, metal bands deserve more of a spotlight on the channel. So yeah, anyway, um, thanks for sticking around guys. Thanks for rocking out. We'll see you guys in the next one.